However, I also like to use a lot of natural ingredients and natural remedies on my skin. Fresh ingredient on my skin. I feel that my skin look better and feel better. So what I'm going to do for you today, I'm going to share one of my personal remedy with you. This is a facial mask which can double as a facial scrub. It is rich in vitamin C, natural vitamin C that is. It's rich in antioxidant. Antioxidants such as a vitamin C and vitamin E and also the amazing vitamin A. This remedy is going to clear the skin of dullness, get rid of the dry flaky skin. It is also going to help to tighten and firm the skin. If you have oily skin this is gonna have to absorb the excess oil and leave your skin just looking fresh and feeling smooth and hydrated so what I'm gonna do for you I'm gonna share the recipe with you I'm gonna let you know all the benefits of the ingredients why I'm using it in the mixture and I'm also gonna share a live demo at the end showing you exactly how I personally use it on my skin for amazing results so what are you waiting for let's go do this really really quick and get this recipe on the way now today we're gonna be making a facial mask that can be double as a facial scrub so you're gonna need some oatmeal for this recipe this is old-fashioned oatmeal but you can use whichever type you have you're also gonna need some dried orange peel powder or dried orange peel whichever you have you're gonna need some honey any type of honey that you have will do and you're gonna need some coconut oil you're also gonna need some powdered milk or yogurt or regular milk for this recipe so to begin we are gonna be blending some of these ingredients together we're gonna to be blending the oatmeal along with our dried orange peel powder so let's just pour this in our blender so we're gonna blend a tablespoon of the oatmeal and for our orange peel just use your discretion and we're gonna pour this in we're gonna cover and we are gonna blend to a powder now after blending take a look here we have orange peel and oatmeal and let's pour this out now you can choose to stir this in your refrigerator for about six months when you're ready to use it you just take it out and use it so we're gonna use four teaspoons of our oatmeal and orange peel powder and we're gonna reach for our powdered milk and we're gonna use two teaspoons of the powdered milk and now we're gonna mix this together now you might be wondering why I didn't blend the powdered milk with the oatmeal and the orange peel that is because the powdered milk will cause it to have a shorter shelf life so add it at the end now once we totally mix the powdered milk in now we're gonna reach for some coconut oil we're not using a lot of coconut oil in this just a little bit run about a half a teaspoon this is a teaspoon measurement so pour a half a teaspoon of coconut oil coconut oil will have to lap that moisture in the skin and keep the skin hydrated my next ingredient is the honey and honey is a humectant that also lock the moisture in the skin and keep your skin looking hydrated it is also contains antibacterial properties that means it's good for acne prone skin so we're going to be using a teaspoon of the honey in this mixture let's pour this in get all that honey out now take a look at my next ingredient here I have some aloe vera gel which is store-bought however if you have fresh aloe vera gel go ahead and use it in this mixture we're using about a teaspoon of the aloe vera gel pour that in and now we are gonna blend we're making sure to dissolve the honey and the coconut oil and next we're reaching for our final ingredient which is rose water rose water is hydrating to the skin 
We're using, starting out with a tablespoon of the rose water, pour that in. That's the only liquid we're using. And now we're gonna blend everything together. So we're blending oatmeal, orange peel powder, powdered milk, honey, coconut oil, and some aloe vera gel and rose water. So now take a look, this is it. Now you do not want this to be too watery, nor do you want it to be too dry. So this consistency is perfect. And now that this is ready, you're gonna set this aside, set it aside for a few minutes before you use it. Just let the ingredients infuse. And once this is done, your facial mask is ready to use on the skin. So to use the mask, now you're gonna mix this up when you're ready to use this. And please note, when you set it aside, the fact that it contained the oatmeal, it's gonna get very, very thick. So whenever you're ready to use it, just dip a little bit of a rose water in it and just wake it up. Now I'm just gonna apply this directly on the skin. And I like to be generous with it. You can use a brush, however. I prefer to use my hands. So just cover your entire face with it. In circular motion, since it have a bit of a granule, so be generous with it, dive in, all over the skin. Okay to cover your lips with this. And it just glides on the skin like that. Do not let this get in your eyes. It contains a bit of a granules. Now, once your face is completely covered with the mask, you're gonna let it sit on the skin for 30 minutes. It's gonna dry on the skin, okay? So once it's dried on the skin, what I like to do, I like to go back in, I like to take a little bit of the mask, and I like to just rub it over my skin, get it wet again by exfoliating the skin. So exfoliate, and then I rinse off with some cold water. This I use two to three times per week. When I make a batch, I use it for that week. Week, okay so make enough for three application and you skip a day and then you use it before you know it you're on your way to amazing looking skin store the leftover in the refrigerator and you know add a little water when Wait. you're ready to eat. so there you have it a quick and easy but a very effective remedy what I like about this is that you can take it along with you okay so go ahead whip the dry portion up take it with you when you get where you're going add water add milk add some green tea leftover coffee whatever you choose to add it's all good and just get your skin to look good now remember your face your neck and your decollete and don't forget your ads thank you all for watching